4HSFootball.com here at the Jacksonville High School Football Media Day 2014 at Everbank Field in downtown Jacksonville. Got head coach Kevin Sullivan of the Atlantic Coast Stingrays here. District 7A3 went 6-4 last year in a very highly competitive and tough district um, in District 7A3. Um, you know, what changes have you made for Atlantic Coast to contend you know, for a playoff spot this year, you know, I mean, I mean, I mean, I know y'all probably been contending for the last couple of years, you right. know, but, but I know the district being a little bit tougher, you know, what, what have you made right, the change? Yeah. We, we, we've sort of gone into the lines that, you know, we return uh, everybody on the offensive and defensive line. Uh, we're really stable at running back, and uh, we've just been working, you know, trying to get over the hump and just uh, maybe, maybe do a little bit extra, a little bit more here and there, but really working our guys and getting them going. And uh, hopefully try to try to break through that uh, district and get into the playoffs. I mean, what is the biggest challenge, coaching for you coaching in that district? You know, well, the that. challenge is Fletcher, Fleming Island, Oak Leaf, Gainesville, Newlands. That's the challenge. Uh, uh, very well coached teams that we play against. Uh, a lot of talent on the field, and uh, you know our guys just kind of go in and knowing that we've been uh, around basically in the district play for three years. This is our fourth year in district play. We've knocked on the door all three years. We just haven't been able to get in. Last year, we Fletcher beat us in overtime, and Fleming kicks a field goal on the last play of the game to beat us. So, uh, you know, our guys uh, know what, what's expected, and they, we, it'd be a disappointing season if we don't get in. So basically, that six and four record could have been eight and two last year in the playoffs. It's been eight and two in the playoffs, and who knows what? Yep. Okay, and. Uh who is your most underrated player that probably is not getting a lot of publicity just yet, but you know who, who that we should be watching for that could probably, be really uh, probably one of the underrated guys. I would have to say Jonathan Barnes. Uh, he's a, a plays Will linebacker for us. He played DN last year. We made made the change to Will linebacker. Does everything he's coached to do smart. Also works hard in the weight room. Uh, and then probably one of the other kid would be like Sean Ely. He's a three-year starter at safety for us. Had to play quarterback in the spring and may have to play quarterback in the fall. He's got an offer from Alcorn State. But uh, those two guys are going to be there. They've got to play well for us to, to, to make the playoffs. All right. Well, I wish Lana Coast and you, Coach Holman, the best of luck this season. I appreciate Thank you. you.